Okay, so you're trying to use percentage formulas in Excel, lots of different types of percentage calculations you might want to achieve, and I'll try and cover them all. I'll leave a timestamp for each exercise in the description of this video. So let's start off with the first one, where we're trying to find out what each of these numbers are as a percentage of the total. Now this is nice and simple, it's just division. So we take the part and divide by the whole. Now, to copy this down, I'm going to need to lock the B7 reference. So every formula refers to that total. And I can do that just by putting dollars in the cell reference. Now, I pressed F4 at the top of my keyboard to do that, but you can type the dollars in. Now, it is a decimal result to begin with, but all you need to do is hit this percent style button. And then if you want to increase the number of decimal places, then you can copy this down. Now, if you are in Excel 365, there is now a function called percent of. Can't really see the benefit of it, but it does tell you that you divide the subset by all. So that might be helpful. So B4, comma, and then the total. I still have to lock the total. And you'll get the same answers. Okay, so that covers that scenario. Let's go on to looking at the next. Calculate a percentage of a number. So I want to find 22% of this price. That will give me the discount amount. Now that's multiplication. Take the percentage and you multiply it by the number. Or the other way around, doesn't matter. 22% of 25709 is 5656. I can copy that down. Now, what if I wanted to find the new price once the discount had been applied? That's what we'll do next. So apply a discount percentage. Now, to do that, you would multiply the price by, open bracket, 1 minus the discount. Now, the reason why it's 1 minus 22% is the 1 stands for 100%. So 100% minus 22% gives us 78%. And that's what's left if we're applying a 22% discount. So that gives me the new price. Now, you may want to increase a value by a percentage rather than decrease it. That's very similar. You take the price, and multiply it by, open bracket, 1 plus the price increase. So 100% plus 22%. And that gives you the new price. Last one, calculate a percentage increase or decrease. So we've got the old price of the headphones and the new price, and we want to see what percentage change there has been between those two prices. So first of all, we would take the new price, subtract from it the old price. So that's the difference between the two prices, 49 pounds. Then we would put that in brackets. So the subtraction is calculated first. And then we would divide it by the old price, the original price. So I need to make that a percentage. You can do that here. Maybe one decimal place, copy it down, and that will give us the percentage change. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.